The LG G5 has apparently a maximum peak brightness up to 2400 nits D65 white point. I have just two questions. First of all, how much? And second of all, why? Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. First of all, all the credits goes to HDTV Vincent Theo. He actually made a video a couple of hours ago and he yeah, had great news. The LG G5 is apparently a brand new, much better TV than my very old LG G4 here in the back, which I just bought a couple of months ago. But no worries at all, I got such a great price, I don't regret it at all. So the thing is the LG G5 will apparently outshine this TV here in the back easily without any question if the rumors or the presentation what we have seen so far is actually true. And now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's not true, it's just a little bit hard to believe why we're having suddenly and again, don't get me wrong, I like it. I like to have 2400 nits maximum peak brightness on a 10% window, window with D65 calibration. This would be absolutely fantastic. And the best news, I come to the best news later, okay? But why are we having now suddenly such a big jump? Because, so just to uh, remind you, okay? I have the G2 here in my cinema room or living room. Maximum peak brightness, 950, 1000 nits, okay? So let's say 1000 nits. Then we had the LG G3, 1300 nits roughly, okay? And now LG G4 here in the back, 1500 nits, okay? So you can see always a little bit more, okay? And now 2400 nits, apparently. That's, that's a, a big jump. Why is this happening? Is this happening because we don't have MLA anymore? Yes, you heard me correct. There will be no MLA technology or layer on the LG G5 because LG is using with the G5 a four stack layer panel with um, apparently what I learned so far, we have a, a blue, green, blue and red sub pixel plus the white sub pixel to actually yeah, make the brightness and make the colors and stuff like that. So that means we have a yeah, we have a, a new panel and maybe that's the reason why we can have now suddenly such a higher peak brightness plus a better color saturation. And I'm sorry for that, but I don't know how it works really, but it appears to me or it appears to the um, information what I have that we're getting actually a better HDR color volume, color saturation, color colors in general, okay? So not close to QD OLED, but closer to QD OLED, okay? So because of the new four stack layer panel technology from LG, again, no MLA layer anymore. This is this is probably even, even really, really good news because if you remember, I complained actually about the um, panel uniformity about, on, on my LG G4. So again, don't get me wrong, it's, it's, a, it's on a great level, on a high, high, high end level, okay? This TV is, is wow, great. But for a high, 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 high end TV, I was expecting a little bit more, okay? So without the MLA technology, maybe we're getting even a better panel uniformity. Maybe, maybe, or maybe it's getting worse because now we have a four stack layer technology. I don't know, but this is absolutely great news. The question still is, why are we seeing suddenly such a big increase in brightness? And the maximum peak brightness in a 10% window is actually not the best news today because apparently and yes I know I'm using apparently a lot today but this is all yeah apparently I haven't tested it on my own because I don't have the G5 yet but we're talking about a much higher full screen brightness as well up to 40 percent more full screen brightness compared to the G4. So the G4 roughly has a maximum full or a full screen brightness of around, let's say 200, 250 nits, something around that, okay? Depending on your settings and color uh, settings and stuff like that. So this would mean we can 
see maybe 300 nits, maybe a little bit more full screen brightness on the G5 and why this is important. So we're talking about HDR, okay? So why this is important is because of HGAG in gaming. So I hope the gaming brightness, full screen brightness is the same as in filmmaker mode in HDR. But if this would be the reason or the case, then um, HGHG because many many people complaining that HGHG looks dull compared to dynamic tone mapping on which I agree in some games that's the case but if we increasing the full screen brightness as well so everything getting is getting brighter that means HGHG in general or overall is getting much much brighter this is fantastic news absolutely fantastic but again why suddenly so much increasement in regards of brightness um because don't get me wrong, so maybe this new four stay stack layer panel technology is really wow. And it's it's wow and it's getting better and better and better. But what about next year? What about the G6? What are we what are we seeing then in terms of peak brightness? And there's something else I like to talk about in regards of peak brightness, because the question is when is it actually too much? And I know what you're saying and I know what Ariel is saying. Oh, it can't be never too much. Um, in regards of full screen brightness, yes, I agree. We need uh, TVs with a much higher full screen brightness to avoid dimming, to uh, get better HGHG and stuff like that. I fully agree. But with specular highlights, with uh, a 10% yeah, peak brightness or 10% window peak brightness of around 2400 nits, that's ridiculous bright because from my own experience, when I'm watching or playing games on the G4 here or on my S95C, which is dimmer actually, maybe around 200 nits than my G4, on the paper at least, um, that's enough. That's enough. And I'm watching movies or playing games in an almost, almost complete dark room on my S95C. And sometimes it's just too much for my eyes. You, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, what I'm talking about? So because sometimes you're just tired, you just want to want to relax, you you like to watch a movie. And when, you, when you're just lying on the couch and when you, so in, in the middle of, of starting fall asleep or whatsoever, and you try to watch something, it can be very bright. And this is what I experience all the time with my S95C. I mean, maybe it's my age, you know, as well, turning 18 soon, but, I think you you know what I'm what I'm talking about, okay? So is 2,400 nits at some point um, with the right content? Of course, that's also very important that we have content which is mastered with this brightness. But is it not at some point maybe too much? Question mark. I really don't know, but I would like to know your opinion about this. Put in the comment section what you think about this great news. 2,500, 2,400, up to 2,400 nits, maximum peak brightness, LG G5. Uh, max, the, the full screen brightness also much, much more, 40% compared to, or 40% higher than my G4. This is absolutely ridiculous, actually. But yeah, I need this TV. Uh, I think I need to get the G5. If this is all true and uh, we have maybe a little bit of a better panel uniformity, we have now a much higher peak brightness in specular highlights, uh, a, a higher full screen brightness. Wow. This is absolutely fantastic. I just hope this is all true. So again, let me know in the comment section what you think about this um, announcement and I start um, looking for a second job to actually afford all the stuff what I like to buy this year. 5090 plus G5. Thank you very much for watching me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.